Well, hello there. Today we're going to be doing lesson 3.9, Modeling Decimals with Base 10 Blocks. So let's take a look at why are we modeling decimals with base 10 blocks. The reason that we're doing this is to help you get a better understanding of how decimals work. So we're going to do this first of all looking at a flat is what we call this blue base 10 block that I have here. And if we were going to look at this more in depth, we would see that if we counted all of these squares, there would be 100 of those tiny little squares. In each column, we have 10 of those. So knowing that is going to come in handy, and you'll see why in just a second. So look, let's look at how do we do this. First of all, you'll notice that I've got four flats, or a little, actually six showing here, but we're only going to use four of them. Um, and I have kind of shaded in, but not very well, some of the squares. And the reason I did it that way is so that you could still see the squares. So what we're going to do to get started is we're going to look at the top left flat, and we're going to count each of the columns and the leftovers that don't make a whole column. So this one right here would be 10, 20, 30, 1, 2, 3. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write my fraction as 33 out of 100. That's what that means. So how do I write that as a decimal? Well, we don't have a whole number, so we're going to write a zero. We're going to place our decimal point, and then we're going to write our 33 hundredths. So how do we read that? Zero and 33 hundredths. So let's take a look at the one on the right. And we're going to count our columns once again. So we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 1, 2, 3. So I have 63 out of 100, or 63 hundredths. And then I'm going to write my decimal. No whole number, so 0, decimal point, 63. So I read that 0 and 63 hundredths. Let's take a look at the bottom left. We've got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 81. So there are 81 out of 100 shaded, and I would write that as 0 and 81 hundredths. Are we getting the hang of it? Hopefully. All right, let's take a look at our last one. We have 10, 20, 30, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I've got 45 out of 100, 45 hundredths, and I would write that as 0 and 45 hundredths. Pretty easy, right? All I've got to do is count my squares, put it over 100, boom, I've got my fraction, and then I turn that into a decimal. So when you come to class, we are going to use decimal notation for fractions with denominators of 10 or 100. We're going to use a model to help express a fraction with a denominator of 10 as an equivalent fraction with denominator 100. And of course, we're going to do that using base 10 blocks. Bye for now.